into this UiPath Matches and Regex guide. Today our task will be to read an email and if that mail has both the license plate and the date in it, extract both things to strings and display them. Actually this task, um, I had a similar one at a job and I changed it a bit and it could be good use for an example. So the mail we got here in a notepad file, it could be anything, it's just more easy for the example, but it could also be from Outlook, we just where we copy it. So this is the mail. Um, it's from the Ferrari factory. It's uh, to uh, my Ferrari shop. And they uh, informed me that um, the Ferrari GTC for Luso with the license plate, blah, 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 is expected to be deliver, deliver it at the state. And then there is some extra equipment that could not be delivered. What we want from this mail is to extract the license plate, which license plate, which is this, and the date, which is this one here. And then we can um, go into our own system and pair it with the customer who ordered that one. But that will be uh, out of this video. So let's have a look. First off, we go to Google. We will. Um, find a regex tester since the one in UiPath is not that good so we'll search for a regex tester then we'll take this one regex r we could take regex 101 I mean it doesn't really matter both one are good here we will uh, copy paste in the text from the mail like this and we'll uh, delete the expression. I'm sure you're familiar with uh, the regex, otherwise uh, go to my tutorial about re regex and how we extract things here. So uh, first off, we need to find the license plate and we could uh, use the, we need two words, uh, two letters like this. And then we need a space like this and five digits and that will be like this I won't go into much detail about the regex so this will be it this will be the license plate we can um, we got it here we'll open another one and just do this then we will copy the text one more then we'll write in an expression that will um, extract the date and first off we got two digits and curly brackets two then we need to escape uh, this one here so we do this then we'll um, put in two more digits like the one before, like this, and then we'll escape the last one, which is um, like this, and four digits. Then we should have the date, um, like this, and we'll see that it will find the date. So now we got both uh, expressions to uh, extract the license plate and the date and we're ready for UiPath. I'll drag this down here and I'll drag this down here. Um, in UiPath our tools uh, will be the matches, the regex and a little bit of cleverness. Now let's go into UiPath and create the process that will help us extracting the two things. Remember, we had to extract license plate and um, a date if they were both there in the mail. So if one of them will be missing, we won't extract anything. So first off, we'll drag in a sequence here. We'll right click, set it as start node, we'll double click in it, and now we're here ready to roll. We will uh, search for a read text file here, drag it over in here, and now we'll have to
put in a file name, the path of it, and then the output. So uh, we'll click here and we'll choose this, the Ferrari delivery mail, it's here, open. Then we will um, create um, a string. So we'll put in control K for creating a variable. We'll call that, we could call it string Ferrari Dell. That's the whole um, string with all this text in. We'll click uh, here and now we, we can see we created uh, this variable down here. Now um, we need to um, check uh, for matches. Matches here. Um, if I can talk a little bit about the difference between matches and is matches, matches will extract the whole match and display that if we want to, and is matches will just return uh, a true or false, like does that match exist? We will come back to is match later, but you will get a good idea just to think a little bit about it. Now we got the match here. Um, so we will, the input, that will be the, the string from up here. Ferrari mail, so we'll just find here. Then we got the uh, regex pattern. We'll s we can first search for the date. So we'll go back here. We can copy in this expression. Now um, we'll do this, and now we can type in the, uh, the expression here. We need uh, a result, and a result from a match will be a i enumerable. That's a uh, quite funny one so we'll put in control K uh, we can call it IEM date like this and now we see that um, this one is stored as an as an I enumerable match we can um, create one more match for the uh, license plate we will um, go up here the input will still be the string fair del now the pattern will be the other pattern we found here. We will do this and we can create one more variable. We could call that um, IEM, IEM like plate like this. And this will be created here as well as an I enumerable match. So now we created uh, both things. First off, we want to check um, if both things are actually there. And that we can do with an if loop. We'll drag in the ifs here. What we want is that we want um, the date to actually exist. So we can do this and say that in this i enumerable, there has to be uh, more than zero occurrences. So there has to be a date. And both of these expressions have to be true. Um, and we can put in i am um, lick plus count greater than zero. So um, let's say that uh, this is not true, then one of them or both are missing. And we can display a message box saying that, um, well, not that important, error in mail format, something like this. However, if both exist, then we are ready to um, extract them. First off, we will um, we'll have to uh, convert these two into strings. And uh, what we will do is that we will assign. So we will create a string here, control K, string date, like this. And to extract, and we will uh, change it here to string. And to extract the value to this string from the I enumerable, we have to put in um, IEM date. 
Then we will have the first entry, and remember that's the zero, the zero entry. The first entry is the zero, yeah. And then we'll put in value, we'll get that value into this string, like this. And we can extract the license plate as well. We will assign this to a string. So we'll put in control K, and we could call this string like like this and it will be of the same syntax as the one before so we will do this first entry and the value of it so now uh, they're both the strings and we could um, display a message box ooh, ooh, ooh. message box here We'll drag it down here and we could say that um, the car with the license plate um, is expected to be delivered at and then the date like this and this should work and we'll just delete a plus here and now it's working remember that these error signs in UiPath is a quite good guideline that you'll miss something so you can easily correct it before you run it but now we're ready to run and let's check if we actually will see something hopefully and right so the car with the license plate nn 46209 is expected to be delivered at uh, the 21st of july 2020 and uh, well this is just a message box of no use but what i did in the uh, real case was that i could um, have these two strings and i could um, paste them into a mail to the customer and send the customer mail with uh, yeah custom mail with uh, all sorts of info and the delivery date for his car. So that was it. Thank you for now.